All right, check it out. Everything is wiped off, clean as y'all see. So at this point, we're ready to prime. A little, whatever little imperfection I see after the primer, we could go over it. But overall, everything is taken care of. The minimum icing. Again, doesn't mean that you have to put blaps and blaps and blaps about it. You see the big difference here? All the shapes looking money. Again, whatever I see, I could go after in the primer, because I don't show. So the primer should call a lot of stuff, and it should also show whatever little minimal stuff, which I know we'll probably have to do a little bit touch up here or there. But the shape, if you remember, it's looking good. So, yeah. Corner came out pretty good too. Yeah. Moving along to this side. Right there, this side, I gotta take a little blade, clean this off a little bit. That's about it. This is all the dress here. One side, all the way down. The, the edges here, again, after everything is primed, I could sand down again and go find those stuff. But um, pretty much the whole series has been taken care of for the final body work. So I just gonna tape it real quick, prep it up, so we could start priming and then finalizing it with this video. So with that being said, let's get it. boys we finally have the crx in primer 
off camera, I'm gonna let it dry. This is our automotive primer. I'm gonna let it dry and get primer and filler. I always do that. I put one coat of automotive primer to fill in, and then, and then I get the primer and filler. I just go one more coating, but bro, these are things that could wet sand a little bit. This is pretty much ready to get paint in the future. Again, I'm going one more coat with the primer filler, two in one, but everything is repaired. As far as the body wise, stuff that I seen that was big. At the door, again, when I wet sand the primer, whatever little stuff I see, if I see like a little scratch, like for example, that little pinhole right there, we address that, so nothing major. The shapes down there, they looking good. Again, when I sand down, it'll show me what needs addressing, what does not. But um, everything is looking sharp. At least I wanted to get it to this stage so that we could move on with the rest that we're doing on in the restoration. Because at this point, it's gonna stay in primer from now on until we're ready to get painted. So it only gets better. The body's pretty much straight. It doesn't get any cleaner in there. Like there was no need in priming the whole car. I should have, but I'm not. I'm trying to match the color at the end as close as possible to that color. I believe it's like a Felix je yellow, the owner told me. So we're gonna try to, you know, match up the paint. And, um, you know, if I have to paint it a few times, I'll paint it a couple times. But it's so much harder to do one solar color and, you know, just paint it over. Then if you already got the paint in it, it'll, you know, absorb the paint, the paint quicker. But, um, yeah. Same with this side. The shapes is looking good. Remember, the body uh, kit size curves are going to fill in that. But everything is looking straight. The, the edges. The both fenders. We cover the hood. This kind of job right here if you go to a body chop just to do this kind of stupid prep right here right now just that little bit it's probably 12 to 1800 dollars just to prep the car to the stage that they could you know spray and that's it the spray is probably another 1800 dollars maybe two thousand dollars more depending on who paint your car i know people that paint cars for a thousand dollars just like michael just like the people that you know charge outrageous prices so but this is something we could do home. Definitely by any means. This is the point on this video. I'm showing you guys on how to do it yourself so you don't have to spend a buck. Maybe you like this kind of lifestyle. You do it once, you like how it look, you're getting complimented by your friends in the hood. Yo, who did that? Oh, I did it. Oh, you do work? What's going on? How much you charge me, you know what I mean? So now you guys in the game, just as me, yeah, revenue, you know what I mean? So we all learn together as we go. We just gotta pay it forward in life to those that are less fortunate that we forget at the end of the day that we were once in their shoes or we are in the shoes, you know? And just like a little kid, man. One day, you know, he got his first bike. You know how you put the packs and paint it and hook it up? That's just that kid within me. Just with bigger toys. But the ambition and the motivation is sure is right here. I stay on my lane. Times are changing, but some things do not change. And that's the channel right here. We stay for the bill, we stay humble. So with that we said, I wanna thank every single one of you for liking, commenting in the channel. Stay in tune, till the next time, peace.